Welcome to Storybook House. We have just finished a several month renovation on this amazing, unique 1950s Bavarian cottage in the Sullivan County Catskills. And it's photo shoot day, so there's a little activity going on, but we wanted to give you the lay of the land. Um, but the river kind of speaks for itself. Um, but we wanted to show you, you're here in a private community um, surrounded by 2,000 acres of hiking trails, ATV trails. The other day there was a trout fisherman walking up the river here. Um, this is your property. This is your front yard. You've got the driveway here that connects up to the private road and your access to the house is actually over this footbridge. Um, this is one of the most unique, um, beautiful settings that I've ever gotten to work on here in the Catskills in my 10 years here and we're really, really, really excited to show you this project. We're rolling. So I'm not sure if I can even explain how fun this is that you have a footbridge to get to your house, but just taking the view Again, this is your front yard. This is incredibly beautiful. You've got such a great spot to hang out by the river, by the fire pit here. Um, we're gonna show you a little bit of the yard, kind of explain the layout here, because it is super unique. So behind me is all of your property. Um, if you can see toward the back where the stack of logs is and the orange flags, your property goes all the way down there. It's almost four acres, this entire Property. We have our um, really fun uh, kind of postmodern Salvador Dali hatchet um, set up over here. And if we're going to swing around here, um, you can see to the left there's a very large kind of gardening shed under there for tons of storage. Um, this is one of the original details on the house. It has been completely hand restored by one of our super talented artisans. You can see 1950, built with love, 2021, restored with love. We absolutely love this house. We're gonna continue on. This is our, just again, just more, the detail here is incredible. This is all original, the house. We found these in the basement um, and we've put them back into their original location. And again, all just beautifully hand painted. We've painstakingly chosen the paint colors for this property and really put a tremendous amount of thought into how to restore this and respect the property while bringing it kind of into a little bit of a modern flair. We've got this amazing second water feature here. This brings the water down that's behind the house because there's another stream and another bridge which we'll show you in a second, but it brings it down, falls into this brilliant water management system and takes it back out to the river again. This is the, um, probably actually like the formal side of the house actually, even though we use the other door a lot, but this is a beautiful round patio. We, come, we took this thing completely apart, restored it and put it all back together again. Um, behind you here is actually even a little garage for even more storage. Um, and we'll show you how you can kind of access that from the back part of the property if you needed to. Um, but if we were kind of modern business in the front, we've got a party in the back because this is kind of the coup de gras for this house. Um, and again, just the amount of detail, the time, the thought, the care that has gone into restoring every little detail here um, is just incredible. Okay. All right, roll. Yeah. So we're up behind the house again. Here is the garage. We're not gonna show you inside right now because it is still a little bit messy from our construction project, but really incredible storage, firewood storage. And the property has this beautiful trail that goes through that's actually kind of a rough driveway that goes to the upper road. There's another bridge. Um, so if you did really need to, you could get a truck down this driveway. And I think we're gonna run into one of the wild locals here in the Catskills. Friend. Nutties and Harley have been hiking the property and Harley's found a squirrel, I think. Get over here. Who's on a tree <laughs> So it's just a really fun property all the way from the river up the driveway through the woods. You've got a second bridge up there. What'd you think of the walk up there? Beautiful. Gets the heart pumping, you know. <laughs> well, Harley. it's a wild dog. Harley likes it. And it's the wild dog of the Catskills. Okay, come on in. This is the formal entrance. The uh, foyer, the foyer, if you will. You know I love a foyer. So um, right away the magic starts. We've got gorgeous dental molding, all of the original details that have been painted out, this little moment. Um, so behind me, obviously, we'll get to this beautiful curved staircase that goes up. And if you've never built a staircase, try building a curved one and see how that goes. Um, behind you here, we start with the um, main first floor bathroom. We might as well just go in here. Um, this is a really fun bathroom. I love the archway. We've got beautiful fixtures in the shower. Um, 
This piece here is one of the, my favorite things that we've done. This belongs, uh, well, it belonged to a really good friend of ours. It belonged to her grandparents, and we picked it up in Brooklyn from her and brought it here, and our super talented carpenter has uh, retrofitted this to fit this beautiful sink and fit it into this bathroom. Um, so we're going to continue around here. The house kind of does a big circle around. We've got a main floor. We have this room actually done as a, as a um, bedroom, um, but this could really be anything you needed it to be. It could be a dining room. It could be an office. It works great as a guest room. Um, but I like this house because it has um, a lot of different ways that you can use it. This room, we have staged as a mudroom and a butler's pantry, if you will, but again, really multifunctional. Um, this could become an office. Um, it could become a walk-in dressing room. It could even become uh, a bathroom if you really needed to put another bathroom in here. Those are the second one upstairs. But now we get to the really, really, really fun stuff, which is the beautiful kitchen, dining, and living room. And we have the lovely Chris May shooting away, and the lovely Nutty showing you how wonderful it is to just lounge around this beautiful, beautiful home and take in the river from every single window. Um, this is your secondary exterior door that goes out into the beautiful patio for your heavy wine, your morning coffee. Um, just a fully outfitted kitchen, dishwasher, uh, range, vent hood. This is also one of my favorite moments in the house. We actually have replaced every single window in this whole house. This was originally kind of a chopped up window. We put one giant picture window in because all you see is river from here and it's beautiful. Um, and we have our sunken living room. Who doesn't love a sunken living room? Exactly. Tons of room for all of the things in here. This is actually a pellet stove, which is a fantastic heat source. We don't even have the heat on in the house right now. This is giving off all the heat. This and Nutty right now, giving off all the heat. A lot of heat here. <laughs> a lot of heat here. A lot of hot air. <laughs> so again, a beautiful river views from every single window in this home. Um, this is a really large living space. If you if you needed to, we have this stage as a dining room, but you could obviously fit a huge dining table in this space and still have room for living room furniture. And we are full circle here on the main floor back to the foyer, and we're gonna head upstairs in a second, and then we'll take you to the downstairs as well. So heading on up the stairs to this beautiful curved staircase, um, let's talk about the railing for a second. This came out when we first started the house, um, but it has been fully restored. It's not one contiguous piece, but it's almost one contiguous piece. We had to carry it down as one piece and install it as one piece, so it's pretty fun. Um, right up at the landing is um, my junk, as I said, it's photo shoot day, so excuse a little bit of the mess, but to the um, left here, we have staged this as a kind of a dressing room, but again, super flexible space here. Could be an office, could be a playroom, could be a little music studio, um, or you know, you go to your Catskills party, you come home and you put on your pedals in a row, of course, we're in the Catskills, what else do you do? So on this floor, we've got two more um, bedrooms and a bathroom, but we've staged them as kind of like a full primary suite up here. We'll start, um, well, let's just start over here in the main bedroom. I'm calling this the main bedroom. This is the largest of, of the bedrooms. This is a queen bed, obviously can accommodate a lot of furniture. You've got incredible views right out to the river here. Um, you, you can see the fire is still going. Fires are burning. Um, so you've got even this like sweet, like it just the house is just every little nook and cranny. We have a little closet here with shelves and a bar. You've got good storage here. Um, and then we're gonna come back out here. We have redone this bathroom. Um, this is also one of my favorite rooms in the house. Um, can you come on in here with me? Come all the way in. Um, so we actually expanded this to make this a little bit bigger. We'll just demonstrate. You know, I have my shoes on. They're clean. I cleaned the bottoms of them. Um, you've got good headspace here. So we actually blew this bathroom into this wall. We took out a whole chimney and took over part of the bedroom closet. So you've got a good usable space here. You can sit and soak. Um, but it doesn't feel teeny tiny in here even with the sloped ceiling. You've got solar tubes going in this house. So even though we're getting into evening time here, you've got beautiful daylight in here. And you, my friend, are sitting in like probably the best seat in the house, so trade me, or no, show them. <laughs> um, that's the view from the toilet, and you know I love a toilet with a view. Um, so we're gonna come back out here and show you the second room. Oh, I guess I should just point out maybe that there is, we haven't put the shelves in yet, but there is some storage in here, and then the idea would be you'd have a lot of storage in your dressing room here. 
So this we've staged out as kind of a lounge, office, obviously, trombone studio, because probably everybody plays trombone. Um, so this is a really nice multifunction room. This could be a guest room, this could be a bedroom, um, but uh, you know, that's why I love this house, because there's so many different things to do with it. This is also the door that goes out to your balcony. All right, rolling. So this house actually has a third floor. It just keeps going. Um, this is the door to the basement level, which is a walkout basement. Again, just beautiful, beautiful curved um, stair. The hand drilling here is like nothing I've ever seen before. Secret cubbies. We didn't even show you some of the secret cubbies upstairs, so you'll have to come in person to see those. Um, this hand drilling is absolutely beautiful. Um, you come down into the rec space, all new windows, spray foam insulated. We've taken a lot of care here to do things behind the walls to help keep this super moisture resistant. Um, just beautiful views right from your base. This is the basement, but like this is the view. It's incredible. This is fully heated conditioned space. Um, so very usable. We've got a little loungy room over here, but again, super flexible space, workout space, art space, music space, loungy space, 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 space. Um, we're going to keep them in here because you've got, even this house comes with its own, what I like to call the wine cellar. Um, so, you know, you can come in here and cheers. Um, this basement does keep going. There's even more storage space back here. I'm only going to give you a sneaky peek in here. This is a very large utility room. Um, as you can see, we have been utilizing the utility room, but there's actually washer dryer hookup in here. Again, you can see all the spray foam. Um, really important to look behind the walls too, if you can. Um, we're not going to go any further because that is the last remains of our project. Um, this is the little storage room. And we swing all the way back full circle. So just a tremendous amount of space. Oh, I guess I can show you the walkout right here. It's kind of fun because you can literally walk out the Hobbit door. Oh, and there's a Harley um, right outside and jump in the river. Come on, Harley. You may miss it. Show them how to use the bridge, Harley. Show them how to use the bridge. Good boy. Yes. Good job. And cheers, Harley. Oh, cheers. Oh, cheers, oh, cheers Harley.